Hi, I'm James with RealCraft, and we're here on Bainbridge Island to install two sets of these gorgeous redwood doors that have a black finish on them. So Sam's pre-installing the, the hinges. So on, when we hang them, we've got this hinge. And you see the little, little set screw here. It's called the nerped hinge, which means that pin can't be removed until you pull that out. So we put one of these on the top, which you did here. And then we put a regular non-nerped in the center. And we'll put the last nerp on the bottom. And that just prevents somebody from popping the pins off and getting into your garage. So here we are assembling, assembling the jam on the concrete surface. And to protect the jam, use the provided foam to keep the jam off the concrete. Just helps the overall quality. The tar paper kind of prevents moisture from wicking up through the concrete into the bottom of your freshly cut sill or a jam leg. I'm just gonna kind of shim it in the place to hold it. We pre-drill the jam not behind the hinge, but behind the weather stripping so that we have access to that screw at all times. Otherwise, you gotta take your hinges off. Yeah, 91 3 eighths. They're gonna come put it in the hole and I'll, I'll drop some pins in it. And if it doesn't go the first time, we'll loosen the hinge and, and get them to, to work together. So now we're getting ready to hang the door to the jam. And a good tool to use there is a, an airbag, which will help you pump up the door to the proper place so you don't have to physically manhandle it or use a, a wedge of some sort, which could damage the door. And the airbags can be found at Home Depot. A lot of times you wanna leave the hinge screws on the door and the jam just a little bit loose so that when you're installing the leaf, all the the alignment barrels will, will be in a line and then you put your hinge pin in and then reopen the door and put in your hinge pin and that should tighten it up and then tighten your screws. Your middle reveal, your top reveal. Fine tune our gaps. So if you look down this edge, you kind of see a 3 30 seconds, less than an eighth gap. And it gets kind of tight down here. <clears throat> And we're a little tighter, you probably can't see it, but a little tighter here than we are on the jam side. So we're gonna kick this over a little bit, which will pick that up. And then this door is actually sitting pretty nice. Yeah, I know. So the reveal is the gapping around the door to the jam. Typically it's about an a eighth inch or just under, and it should be from the header down the jam legs. Now the center of the door is a little bit different because it's swinging, so you need a little extra room in there. And it's a wood door, wood product, so it's gonna expand and contract, so you don't want it that tight. So normally about a quarter inch is in the center, maybe a little heavier. And then in this particular situation, the, top, the tops of the door were misaligned in height by about a, maybe a sixteenth or less. And so to remedy that, remedy that we uh, took a shim on the bottom right jam leg just to lift it up and that just brought it right back into plane where we liked it and the, all the reveals stayed the same. It doesn't like, come out like it's moving real fast. Sometimes when you're setting all your screws in at the end, you can really tweak it so you just gotta keep, keep, keep aware of it as you set them, go back and check it. You might have to adjust your shims. And, but uh, this one's doing pretty nice. This one you'll see does it just a little bit. So we'll, we'll adjust it. Measure for the sill. 
and cut the sill. So I just want to make sure you got one square side. Sometimes at the factory they'll come with a little angle on them and they'll throw your whole game off. Um, you could see me cutting the dog ears in the sill. And what a dog ear is, is a notch which goes back in, goes back from where the door sits in the jam to the inside of the building by about a half inch. And on that cut, you don't want it to be super tight because you will be siliconing that at the end. And you don't want to risk scratching the jam as you as you slide it in. So when you're ready to lay the sill down, uh, obviously you have to take it back out. Lay about a three eighths thick bead of, of some kind of construction adhesive or, or waterproof sealant to the outer edge of the concrete, or you can do the, the whole edge around the perimeter. You just don't want it squirting out. And in that situation, they're going to be putting uh, stones up to it so that the jam or the sill hung out over the lip just a tiny bit. And they'll take care of that when they install the, the pavers. So here we are adjusting the adjustable sweeps. So the, once the sill is laid down, you can close the door and look for daylight underneath it. And there's three or four adjustable uh, points there. So what you do is you slide it out of the T-track, either unwind it one or two clicks or one or two screws, or tighten it up, just depends on if it's too tight, the door's having trouble closing, or there's tons of light underneath and you gotta shrink it or uh, expand it out a little. And I believe you have about a half inch to five eighths uh, either way to seal up that bottom. So when you're aligning your cane bolts, you can see that the upper one is offset which means it has about a half inch to three quarter uh, throw, which kicks it back into the, the thick part of the jam. Otherwise, you'd be going right into your weather stripping. And when installing those, you wanna make sure the door is flush with the outside of the jam when you're setting that top plate. Some people mortise it in, some people leave it like that, like we do, it's just, just as easy, it looks fine. And then it's kind of the same procedure on the bottom, but it's called the straight bolt. And it's a little more difficult because you're going into a sill, an aluminum sill. And that typically just sits right on top of it and you really can't router that in cleanly. Here we are installing an astrical on the active door. What an astrical is, is the weather protection, the weather stripping holder, which covers the gap between both doors. So typically he'll clamp it on there. We pre-drill the astrical and we'll pre-drill the door. And the rabbited, rabbited part of the astrical needs to go flush with the edge of the door. And that's that's the meat of the astrical. Okay, we're we're finishing up the project here on Bainbridge Island, and these are the redwood doors that we got installed. We started this morning, and, and they're ready for the homeowners to enjoy. Got a nice 88 threshold down there. Nice MTech lock set, exterior astrical. Shuts perfectly, locks perfectly, nice and secure. Thanks again, and keep on watching for updates. Thank you.